everyone welcome to another top five video this one's gonna be a little different in case you read the title of this video it's going to be a combination of the September and the October months top fives it's because I actually had shot my September top fives last month but that day it just happened so that the Sun kept coming out and it just ruined the lighting of the video I know I never complain about the Sun coming out but when you're shooting videos you really don't want the Sun so I just you know did not get a chance to shoot again and then today I was like oh my god it's mid-October already and I haven't even done September video yet so I decided to just combine the two together, it just saves a lot of hassle and I'm going to be showing more products than just five obviously because I'm doing both of the months together. So let's get started! The first thing I want to share with you today is this beautiful pink jacket. It's really pink, I have to warn you. This is a rain jacket and it's from a brand Regatta Great Outdoors. I got it here in the UK. And this didn't cost me a lot at all. It was probably around, I would say, maybe 20 to 30 pounds. And it's such great quality. The reason why I want to talk about a rain jacket is because it rains a lot in Manchester. But more importantly, when you're out and about, especially for, I would say, alpine trips, like the ones we did recently in Bavaria. Also, last year, we went to Switzerland. And I ended up using this jacket a lot in both of those trips. Plus also in the UK, when whenever we go to national parks or any kind of mountainous regions, you generally need to layer up. And I don't like carrying heavy layers, and so this works beautifully because it's super, super light. It's so light, and it's waterproof. It's got this nice mesh lining inside. So it absorbs your sweat and it's really good for ventilation. Plus look at the color, it's just so bright and cheerful. And when you're taking photos, it really helps stand out in those photos against any kind of like barren landscape. So I really like it. Oh, and it does come with a hoodie as well. Behind the collar, at the back, you just open this up. It's like a pouch that just rolls on its own and voila! you've got a hoodie as well so yeah i really like this jacket let me just put it on so you can see but i'll see if i can find photos and put those as well <laughs> that is so pink <laughs> yeah so that is the jacket that's the hoodie at the back so this is a great purchase if you're ever considering what to get for layering up and for rainy kind of weather or any alpine region type weather i would highly recommend a rain jacket like this one okay so on the topic of kind of outdoorsy type travel i have another top five item here which is my cap and this one is by the brand the north face I again have worn this a lot. I actually bought this, I think I bought it in Switzerland because when I was there, I wasn't expecting it to be that hot and it was really hot when we were there. So we had to buy a cap to protect ourselves from the sun and both Pratik and I got these um, North Face ones. And I have to say, at that time, I was a bit like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money on a cap because these aren't cheap they do cost a little bit i'll see if i can find the cost but i think they were about 30 30 euros each and i was like oh i don't know if i want to spend that much on a cap but i'm so glad we did because they're such great quality and again it's so light you know i'm a big fan of like light materials that just kind of collapse and roll up and they're so easy to take anywhere you go so this is one of them it just literally scrunches up it's not one of those hard base on the top and i really like the color i really like how absorbent it is so even when you're walking and hiking doing any kind of activity and you might be sweating a lot you don't really like collect any sweat inside here it has these holes for ventilation and it has a sweat band here to just absorb everything it's just really good quality i really enjoy wearing this cap and this looks like something that's gonna last me a really really long time so it's a great investment to make do you guys watch videos on the go 
I actually did not used to as much because as you know I'm more into like books and audios and podcasts but recently I found myself in a situation where it was raining heavily while we were in Austria and we didn't really we could not go out at all like we were pretty much jailed inside a hotel room that day and I was like what do we do we had really great internet in our hotel room so we ended up watching videos on Amazon Prime not just any videos, we actually binged watched movies on Amazon Prime. So I have talked about Amazon Prime previously and I didn't actually mention though, but you might already know this or not, that Amazon Prime, the membership when you subscribe, the membership that you get actually also allows you to watch movies and TV shows and all these kind of documentaries and other videos on that website. A lot of them come included in your subscription but you can also purchase movies that are really really popular that you might not necessarily get for um, like not free but not included in your membership like Harry Potter movies or any kind of new releases you have to either rent them which means you pay maybe say I think it costed maybe like three pounds or four pounds per movie and you're able to download it for a period of 24 to 48 hours in which you watch it and then it lapses so that's how you rent a movie but you could also just purchase a movie and that's usually a little bit more like maybe around six to eight pounds per movie so you can buy it and that means it's there in your account and you can watch it again anytime you want so I enjoy, I haven't bought a movie yet, but I really, um, you know, when you're on the go and you just kind of want some entertainment, I have watched movies on Amazon Prime. They're really good quality. They're HD and oh my God, like, yeah, it's, it's like watching, you know, the best quality movie out there. And I have also rented movies. And guys, the reason why I'm really like such a big fan of Amazon Prime is the user interface is so, so good. Like when you go to rent a movie, because Amazon, if you've already got an account on Amazon, your, you know, your financial payment details are all saved in there anyway. So all you have to do is select the movie, click on, you know, if you have to rent or buy, and then literally you can just start watching it. It's literally a two to three click process. It's so easy. So check it out. You do, like I said, have to pay for your subscription for Amazon Prime, but it really, you it, it's so worth it because you will get your products, obviously, but you also watch all these other cool videos and movies on it. So the next two items are going to be beauty related. The first one is my makeup bag. And this one is by a brand called Kipling, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of already. It's literally a small pouch and... It comes with three compartments inside so there you go you can see it now so what I've done is literally actually let me tell you why I'm talking about this first which would make more sense again the quality guys so I never actually had a really good makeup bag I always made do with pouches that I got from you know buying products or cosmetics and you, you sometimes get them in packs and you get a pouch with it so I kind of always used one of those and then I used one from Revlon for a very long time before it was completely falling apart so that's when I got this one from Kipling I think my mom gave it to me actually I didn't even purchase it on my own um, so I am um, I don't actually use many Kipling products but this one I'm such a big fan of. Its quality is amazing. Again, this is something that I know will last me a really, really long time. Plus it's super compact, so it's really easy to just put it into my suitcase and my carry-on bag and just take with me. And I really like that it's just, you know, like the zips and stuff are so strong, so durable. It's got really cool, like it's a three compartment pouch, so I'll show you. What I've basically done is I've kept one compartment. Oh, let me show you this way. So yeah, that compartment there is for my brushes, any tubes like my concealers or my eyeliners or my eye pencils, lipsticks, so all the kind of like long items going there. And then this one here has all the other bulky items like um, it's got my foundation powders and my blushes 
basically that's it i don't own a lot of makeup this is literally all the makeup i have guys it's what i use every day and what i use when i travel and then it's got a little tiny compartment in the middle with its own separate zip and what i keep in there is like things i might use like safety pins or like hair slides um you know like clips and stuff so just tiny bits and bobs that go in there but I absolutely love this bag the quality is amazing and I've been using it for I think it's been already a year the material is so tough it does not show any stains and it's really easy to clean you just basically wipe it off and it's good to go so huge fan of this Kipling bag I don't know if you can purchase it separately I think this comes with like a bigger handbag but I'm gonna have a look and for any products like always I'll find the links and post them in the description box below so make sure to check them out so on the topic of makeup this is my favorite eyeliner and i can't believe i've not spoken about this before but oh my god since i found this i haven't stopped using it it's the only eyeliner i use now and i've got it on my eyes at the moment i only use black because i've got black hair black eyes so it goes really well with just the way i look and this is so child friendly guys it is such a skinny little tube it's so sleek i love the packaging it's gold and black it's by a brand called urban decay and it's their razor sharp water resistant long wear liquid eyeliner so if you're into liquid eyeliners highly 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 recommend you check this one out i accidentally came across this because my previous brand i used to use i ran out of it and i was like mm, maybe i should try something new and i came across this one i always look for really skinny and thin products because then they're not too bulky and i can carry them easily wherever i want to and also this one is literally laser sharp like its tip don't know if the camera's picking it up is so skinny that it gives me those winged eyeliner effects perfectly i absolutely love it it comes in lots of different shades black is just the one i use but yeah i highly recommend you check this out urban decay eyeliner absolutely love it and because it's long wear and water resistant i find that when you're traveling it doesn't come off easily at all so i literally only apply it in the morning and it's there intact has not moved has not smudged has not gone anywhere until i take it off at night right the next two products are also kind of along the same lines these are body shop body butters I have spoken about travel toiletries before and the brand I mentioned before in one of my other videos was Molten Brown. Those are not necessarily the most cheapest to find. And when I ran out of my Molten Brown products, I was like, hmm, do I want to spend the same or can I get something for it slightly cheaper because I do go through a lot of travel toiletries. So I came across these body shop ones and have been using them and they, they do a really good job I have to say. So the body butter is essentially what I use instead of like body lotion because it's just more creamy, more intensive and it's great for this weather when it's more wintry. Keeps your uh, skin more moist than the normal body lotion does. Um, they do have body lotion as well and they also do shower gels and shampoos. I've tried all of them and actually ran out of them again. So these were the only ones I had at home to show to you guys what I mean. I've got two flavors here. Flavors? I suppose you could call it that. One is a... This one's I think a coconut one. This is amazing by the way. I have the bigger version of this as well. And this one's the olive oil version so let me just open one and show you these are brand new i've not used them it's you know travel friendly it's really compact and sleek and so fits in anywhere i really like it the quality is really good smells amazing and it's just so nice to use these uh, products rather than the ones you get in the hotels which kind of leave your skin feeling really dry and itchy so check them out body shop toiletries for travel the final thing i want to share with you guys is my favorite handbag i think this is like my most loved handbag i've had so far it's not even a proper handbag it's like more a crossbody bag it's pretty small 
but I realized that I've kind of, with age, gone from bigger bags to smaller bags just because I don't feel like carrying too much on me at the moment. And this one has been an absolute gem of a bag. Touch wood, I hope I'm not jinxing it. But this is a pure leather handbag. I bought it from Florence in Italy. This little fellow comes with me everywhere. I'm not a person who does multiple handbags because I just cannot be bothered taking things out from one, putting them in another. I've kind of done it once in the past before and realized I forget things in my other bag and when I need them, they're not there with me. So I just stick to one and I just look after it really well because there's only one that I have. This comes with me to work, shopping, travel, anywhere I go. This is it guys, this is it which is why it's made my top vibes. If you're ever in Florence, make sure to buy your bags from there. They have this street market, not street market, it's like, I think it's a permanent setup where they sell a load of leather goods because Florence is known for its leather industry and they make all sorts of things like bags and belts and all these other things. So I went to Florence with the plan that I'm going to buy me a handbag. And I kept thinking it's gonna be really expensive, I don't know about it, you know, but I will probably get something. But I found this, and this was literally, guys, it was maybe 30 or 40 euros, so definitely under 50 euros. And I was like, wow, this is such a bargain. I'm definitely getting one. Now I think, why don't I get any more than just one? But this is, yeah, it's been amazing. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a kind of a, like a navy blue color. It looks black on the camera. I don't know why. It is quite a dark blue, I would say. And it comes with a pocket on the back, which is an absolute must for me to just kind of pop in your keys or pop in your phone or anything like that. And it has a flap here, which also is a pocket in itself. This opens up and, you know, you can kind of slide in things that are light enough for the flap to take. I really like this detail, by the way. I think it's really cool without kind of overdoing it. And I love the gold details. So that's kind of what I look for. I'm pretty sure all the handbags I've ever owned have had gold details on them. So that part is consistent, it's not changed. It's just the size that's changed. And then you have the inside. I've got stuff in it, so I'm not gonna show you because I've not prepped the inside, but essentially, it's big enough to hold this sized wallet. And I've got other stuff in it as well. And it's got um, a couple of pockets. So one pocket here where I, again, dump things like, oh, I think I dropped something. Uh, dump things like my keys. And then another pocket here, just where I keep my hand cream and a couple of pens and stuff. So I don't have a lot in my handbag, but that's kind of what I needed. This is the perfect size for me, and it comes with a strap that is adjustable. It comes in with attachments here, so if you wanted to, you could take it out completely, but it is such a good quality bag, guys. I mean, I just, I just love this bag. It's soft leather. It's not very expensive. It looks really sober and it's crossbody, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm not a big fan of double handles. Single handle is what I do. So if you're in Florence, make sure to at least check out the leather market or whatever it's called. And I'm sure you'll find some great bargains in there. Those were all the things and products I wanted to share with you in this video. Any descriptions and links that I can find, I will post them in the box below. So make sure to click on open more or see more, I think it's called, and check them out. I will be back for my next video and hopefully it won't be that late this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please, please do subscribe and see you guys later. Bye.